Let's talk about the phones. Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro are officially official. Now we've seen these phones in renders and various teasers from Google over and over and over and over and over and over again for the past <laughs> couple of weeks. Since but, May. <laughs> yeah, we finally have prices and we finally have specs and features. So there's the 6.3 inch uh, flat 1080p 90, 90 hertz 90 or hertz. 60? 90, 90 hertz yeah. Pixel 7. Uh, it has a 4355 milliamp hour battery and 8 gigs of RAM. And it has a regular camera and an ultra wide on the back. And then a new s a selfie camera. It gets up to 1400 nits, which is really impressive. The screen on the Pixel 7 looks substantially better than the 6. Does it? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. And it looks good. Then you have the Pixel 7 Pro, which adds a telephoto, which is a new 5X telephoto camera. It has a larger, I believe, 5000 milliamp hour battery. It has a slightly curved over the edges. 1440p, 120 hertz LTPO OLED. It's curved slightly less oh, yeah. than the 6 Pro. Okay. Yeah. Happy to note that. I was I was curious if that would be true or not. They didn't even say it in the keynote, but it is curved like less over the it's edges. It's just like S20 to S21. Remember how uh, Ultra? Oh, yeah, Remember yeah, how yeah. the S20 Ultra was way too curved, and then 21, it was like perfect. Yeah. They, okay. they went back. They went hey, over it, and then they went back. If you're comparing to S21 Ultra, this is all... Well... <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> we'll get there. Baby uh, steps. Yeah. But, you know, mm -hmm. there's two new phones. Uh, also, the big one has four extra gigs of RAM. Um, it's the new Tensor G2 chip. I mean, these phones really aren't about specs. It's more... And I'll talk about this in the f in the impressions video when we, when we get to making that later today. But it's about... <laughs> it's more about, like, the features and being helpful and being, like, a really smart smartphone. So I almost, like, didn't care what the specs were. Like, they're... No. They're the same internals with a little more RAM on the bigger one. Um... But I don't know. First impressions, like the design is, it still looks like a pixel, but instead of glass visor, it's metal visor this time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yet if I prefer that or not. I kind of think That's I exactly prefer the glass. I really? I don't know. I like the metal. I don't like the cutouts of it. So I'm like, yeah. I'm 50-50 on it. I think, I think once you see the phones, you will be happy. Okay. In my opinion. I think I'm leaning I, towards wood. Agree What's nice is that last year we were like, this feels like a bunch of different random parts like glued together because even the camera visor. I'm taking the skin off. Yeah, take the skin I'm off. I'm going to show you this. The camera visor is a separate part mm -hmm. to the side rails. Yes. In this exactly. one, it's all one solid okay. piece. That's the biggest And it difference. just makes it feel higher quality. I still hate that they're glossy phones because I think matte would have been amazing. Oh man, I miss Pixel Matte. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. Pixel Four Pixel Matte four. with with like oh. matte edges. Yeah, cool. and three. That seam yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it's unibody on the metal. Yes, nice. and like it just fe the metal just feels really good. Of course, and yeah, the cutouts yeah. and the camera don't look that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. I think you'll like it. So the the more interesting parts is the features, which is we were looking forward to like, okay, what are they going to do with this phone that they couldn't do with the Pixel Six? So Tensor G two. They basically take advantage of the fact that they know they can do a bunch of this um, this computational computational photography, speech to text. If you're uh, sending a voice note in Google Messages, it'll transcribe it so you can see the text in before you play the voice note, which is interesting. Um, I really think the most interesting stuff is all in the cameras. Wait, before we get to that, can I tell okay. you my favorite thing and like yeah. what makes me want a Pixel Seven? Uh -huh. Face unlock is back. Oh yeah, Face I'm unlock is back. So happy about that. I miss it so much. I hate my fingerprint sensor on my Pixel Six, and I want Face unlock back. And I think did they said it's a G two thing, right? Yeah. So okay. and it, I, was it only on the Pro? Or was no, it no, it's on both. It's on both. I, okay. tr trust me, that they, was the first thing I looked at for all. They of them. said it's using machine learning, which means there's no special like hardware for it. Don't care. Which means they're using a two D image and using ML. Don't care. Okay. I just want it. Okay, I'm just, I'm <laughs> no, just saying, no, like, no, I appreciate remember it. how people were using the fingerprint reader and it was unlocking each other's phones? Yeah. Like, two weeks ago? I'm yeah. just, like, wondering if people are going to be able to unlock each other's we'll phones. We'll see. It's not going to be as secure as some of the better ones out there, Yeah. but I just want it so bad. They also said the fingerprint sensor was new and better. Okay. I it's, will be testing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to be on. Mine's yeah. mostly for chalked up hands when I'm climbing. Like, right. if it's new and better, it's not going to get it anyways, Fair. and I just want face unlocked back really Fair. bad. Yeah. So I'm very, very excited. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is, yes. like, that is one camera feature. Okay. It uses the camera. Okay, you're right. You're, that is a camera feature. <laughs> but <clears throat> around the back, we do get um, a... It's the same primary camera. It is the... Yeah. Great camera. Slightly updated ultra-wide with autofocus now, so it can take better macro shots. Only on the Pro. 
only on the Pro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Pixel 7 uses the same ultra wide as before. Mm -hmm. And the Pro also has a new telephoto. It's a 5X telephoto. And what they're doing is uh, a little more of that. This is okay. Rewind. My favorite moment <laughs> yeah. of the keynote was at the beginning, they <laughs> took this little opportunity to go, oh, you know, we really like when our competitors are inspired by our features. Pixel has always been a leader in smartphone innovation. And we take it as a compliment when others in the industry follow our lead. Like the always on display and at a glance introduced with Pixel 2. And adopt them because they're really good. You know how like we had an always on display back with the Pixel 2. And you know how like we had crash detection three years ago. And the crowd was kind of like, oh, y'all so clever, Google. Well played. I liked it. I liked then it. nine minutes later, they were like introducing cinematic mode <laughs> <laughs> and face unlock yeah. and all these things you've never seen before. Yeah. Um, and so the one interesting thing that the iPhone just did that I think is smart is they take a crop of the middle 12 megapixels of the camera for basically an optical level of zoom. They do that on the primary camera. So it goes from 50 to 12 and a half megapixels. And then the telephoto is also a high resolution so they can do the same thing so they'll go 5x and then crop in there 10x is another optical zoom and yeah. then they have these like haptic stops in the zoom in the software so mm -hmm. you can feel when you get to 2x 5x 10x and those are like good levels of zoom to try that to goes use up to 30 yeah yeah so that's Pretty cool. Super res zoom for all the little weird stops in between. I'm excited to test, you know, using the cameras, how well they handle zooming. But that's like more interesting in the specs is like what features they would add. And it seems like they're doing a lot of camera stuff. Yeah, something that's really interesting to me about the zoom is that they admitted on stage. Because when you, when you take the center pixels and then you use that as a crop to get an optical zoom, you're using smaller pixels because you were previously turning those pixels into bigger super pixels and now you're using smaller pixels, which means you're going to have a noisier image. And they admitted that on stage. They're like, oh, but you know, so we're doing that, but then you have smaller pixels. So what we're doing, and then they talked about this whole pipeline change where they're re-mosaicing the, the Bayer array to like make it better. I don't, I need to talk to them more about what exactly they're doing, but they like, seem to be aware of it, whereas Apple didn't even acknowledge that. So. I think it's pretty classic Google, using software to overcome hardware problems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, always. I remember the Pixel 3 briefing we went to. They were telling us about all these things for Zooming. I, I think I'm at the point where until I see a Zoom photo that I'm like, that looks great. Yeah, I'm just not going to believe any of this. I have yeah. such a hard time being excited for a Zoom in a smartphone at this point. The phones at the event were preloaded with like a bunch of pictures that were taken on like Pixel 7 Pro. And I will say that like at least, you know, the photos that they show. Exactly. Us, yeah. Um, every Zoom level looked pretty great until you got to 30x and then looked terrible. OK. It was so kind of like, like watercolor at that point. Yeah, it was kind of like the Samsung like 100x Zoom when they first announced it and everyone was doing the comparison photos and like. Yeah, you can do 100, but it. I, what is that? What yeah. am I looking at? <laughs> oh, that's the, that's that's the, the Eiffel Tower thing. from <laughs> yeah. a thousand miles away. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I always say, if I'm using the Zoom, it's to like, I'm taking that picture to prove I saw something, not to post as a nice picture. The minute I zoom totally. in on my smartphone, I've given up on quality completely, yeah. and it's yeah. a proof. Of I would 100%. say 5X, maybe you could use for like a portrait shot, but beyond that, it's like... Okay, that's yeah, yeah, interesting would just point. be the telephoto. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the coolest feature is something that might not end up staying as a Pixel 7 exclusive, and that is the unblur feature. Okay, so they showed on stage, basically you have a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, either one, it has the Tensor G2 chip, and you can take a photo in your Google Photos library, whether or not it was taken on the phone, and if it has a slightly blurry face, or a slightly blurry, maybe it was shaking a little bit, not even just faces, just whatever. Yeah, they said it'll detect blur or it'll detect things that are slightly out of focus. Yeah, and it will faces. go, oh, this seems like you'd want to unblur it, and it'll surface the unblur button, which is always available. You hit the unblur button, and it uses AI and sharpening and ML and blah, blah, neural, blah, blah, blah. Google <laughs> does its magic and creates a sharper fixed photo basically it's very impressive based on the three or four demos that i saw yeah. in person <laughs> yeah. i've got to try this now like i have lots of blurry photos in my google photos library um i say that it might not stay exclusive because remember uh magic eraser and lots of other features <laughs> yeah. but like that started mm -hmm. as a pixel 6 exclusive and now that's just a thing you can do now yeah so unblur 
Seems cool. Yeah. Probably don't need a Pixel for it. You know what's hilarious is that um, because they added the thing in the Pixel 6 where it'll it'll use the ultra-wide camera to also take an yes. image and then strap it in, it's like they have so many ways to like avoid blur now that at, at point of capture, they're avoiding blur, and now they're also getting rid of the blur after point of capture. Yeah. So it's just like... No photos will ever be blurry ever again. Oh, our parents will figure out how to mess that <laughs> yeah. up. But Maybe. I do, I do like that you can, um, you can do it on any image. So I have like a lot of film photos that I've taken that are slightly out of focus. Yeah, and theoretically, it could fix that. That'd it's be, not really the same photo anymore, but it, it's. I think that's cool. It's pretty cool that you can bring in other things that you haven't even taken on the phone, let alone even maybe like a smartphone. That I'll yeah. be interested to see how well it does, but. I don't know. They do pretty good on that. I hope it does well, and this isn't just the uh, the chain link fence example. Well, uh, at least I got at least to see you it. Kind of saw it already. I yeah, got so. to see it actually work. Is it called remastering? When you like, you know, those photos, someone will take like an old like sepia photo and they'll like restore it, whatever, oh, something um, like that. Colorized. Yeah, colorize, and they'll like take an old photo and like make you, know, you can like see into the past more sharply. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like that sort of yeah. magic. Like Google's yeah. just making that possible on a yeah. phone. Which they also have colorized in Google Photos now. So they basically will just turn old garbage photos into great photos. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma, I'm, in. I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be gonna your make, birthday present. You're going to have all these make it. high school yearbook photos from the 60s looking like 4K photos. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yeah. But but um, to your point on how long it's going to stay a uh, Pixel exclusive. We should make a bet. I'm Yeah, we should make a bet. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that the, the servers that Google runs um, all of its Google Photos stuff on, like run tensor processors too or tes tensor processing units so i mean i could see three to five months this just coming to everybody it, it right now it feels like it's definitely like a marketing thing that it's like please buy our pixel because we have this exclusive feature but google pretty much always rolls out the exclusive pixel features into all devices through yeah. google photos i think this this kind of loops into the benchmarks video that we did this week which is there are pieces of silicon of the system on a chip that is that are designed for certain tasks to accelerate them and make them really good. Google's for a while now they've had cool things for like speech to text. Like you just ramble at your phone and it's immediately <laughs> transcribing everything you say. There's a new recorder app. Well, it's the it's same recorder app, the app, but there's an update to it that's coming later. It's not at launch, but it has speaker labels. Mm -hmm. They blew my mind with it because when they were giving me the walkthrough, they were talking about certain things and I was replying and they were talking and then the guy took his phone out of his pocket and showed me <gasps> that the whole time it was recording and had speaker labels and they were accurate. That's a great demo. I was like, that is great that is on device in processing. In his pocket? In his pocket. Damn. So That's when like I a, see, is this your card moment? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, You've been writing all that down? So when I see this, uh, this unblur feature, I imagine it probably works best on device because Tensor G2 has the horsepower in that special part of the silicon. Yeah for that function, great. Um, it'll probably just be slower and slightly worse on other phones that aren't the new Pixel 7. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I have one more thing. Yeah. Uh, I really, really liked they showed, uh, like, Google always talks about inclusivity and accessibility a lot. Um, they've talked about skin tones a lot in terms of their camera stuff. But I really, really liked the section where they have a new feature for the selfie camera where if you are visually impaired, it can voice talk to you about how to like maybe set up your shot a little better so that people who are visually impaired can take selfies without needing somebody else to help them at all. Yeah. I just thought that was like such a good idea and I'm so surprised we haven't seen it before. One face, move your phone slightly left and down. Move your phone slightly right and up. Ready for selfie. Three, two, one. Photo taken, one face. Oh my one God, face. I love one this. Selfie. Move your phone right and up. Ready for selfie. Wait, I want to get One my face. light. Photo taken. This is so cool. It's a great idea. I saw a demo of it. Shout out to Molly Burke, fellow mm -hmm. YouTuber, in the in the demo for that. Um, also, the selfie camera is really wide. Did you notice that? I the saw ultra the wide number. is wider, and the new selfie camera is also wider. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the selfie camera, because it's 11 megapixels now, I believe. Yep. So I think when it's, so by default, you open the selfie app and it's cropped in to like probably eight or something. Yeah. But you can zoom out. Okay. And it's really, it's like Pixel 3 XL. 92.8 degree field of view. I think that's what about what written. Pixel 2, oh, I sorry, love Pixel the 3 XL. Oh, yeah. it was so good. It was so good. Yeah. 11 megapixels is so unfortunate because it's right 
Below 4K. Underneath 4K, yeah, you which need is like 12, 12 megapixels. Three or something. So close. I so know. it's 10.8, apparently. Oh, oh, basically really? 11, I just want to before someone gets mad at oh, the still, point two. Still, I want uh, to just... Yeah. So I won't do 4K video. I just fine. love that it's super, super wide again. Agreed. Like I've been waiting for that forever, so... Yeah. Yeah. Same prices. Oh, Same yeah. prices as last Ugh. year. And that's not... Okay, I gave the Pixel 6 my value phone of the year. I think 599 for the base phone is great. Totally. I still don't know how you justify spending three hundred more dollars on the pro, because we are we were thinking about that last year, where it's like, ah, what are you really getting for three hundred more dollars? Telephoto, one hundred twenty hertz, yeah. bigger battery. That's it. that's mostly what you're getting. Is that three hundred dollars more phone? It's the same thing this year. It's LTPO, telephoto, bigger battery, same four more gigs of RAM. Like that's it. And I'm not sure if they just liked the way the last year's phone sold, so they didn't want to change anything. I'm not sure if it's, look, we need to look like a premium phone, so we need to charge premium phone money because that's what it has to look like on a shelf. A combination of things. But that's the new. it's the same price as last year. I do think, um, I think in their mind, and something they said in the event was, they're comparing the top phone to other flagships, which is this is cheaper than other flagships. It is. So therefore, the eight ninety nine price isn't the worst, but it makes it feel worse yeah. when your other phone is really good and exactly. so cheap. So they're almost like biting themselves by doing that yeah. because like that's a great price phone. This isn't a bad price phone if you want to actually compare it to other flagships. It's a great price. Are they screwing themselves over? I'm not going to complain. I love the $600 price tag. Here's how I'll phrase it. If the 7 doesn't exist, the Pixel 7 Pro looks like a good deal. Because you're like, wow, you're exactly. undercutting exactly. all the $900, hundred, the $1,000 phones out there that it's being compared to. Am I having deja vu right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the is, second is you really them both in the lineup, then you're like, oh, yeah, no, it's $300 cheaper to get almost the same phone. Yeah, I think the only thing that they kind of leaned into more to try to separate the phones this year is that because it's 5x zoom, zoom and then all of the magic they're doing that allows you to zoom in to like 20x and have it still look good like on the pixel 7 you can't do any of that i agree but i know it was, i know it's $300. Yeah, yeah i yeah. i would save 300 bucks and not be able to zoom and then the better the wider ultra wide it's 21 percent wider on the yeah. pixel 7 pro and it has the autofocus pixels which allows you to do macro mode macro not that anyone really cares about macro mode. no i do that is a good point actually splitting the ultra wide up a little more does add like one more step mm -hmm. to it and the I zoom guess. stuff like 5x yeah. zoom versus 3x and then yeah. allowing you to do like 20x and still look good i think is more but when I held them both personally, and I think I might even have said this last year, I think the Pixel 7 feels higher quality than the 7 Pro just because of the form factor and how big it is. But and the flat screen, actually. The flat screen, I think, makes it feel feels better. Good. Yeah, it's thin yeah. bezels and flat screen. Yeah. 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 Because no, it's a good like material. It. It's not like it's not like the OnePlus 9 regular, which felt like absolute trash because the back was like really bad quality. Yeah. It feels like a good it, like for five ninety nine. The seven feels very premium. I will say that. It, yeah, we're complaining complaining about it here, but this is honestly a good problem for Pixel to have because like or Google to have because the people who are making this comparison between them are still debating between two Google phones. So true. I mean, like, it's a pretty good problem to have. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Last thing before we go, can we just do a clips outro so I can put it at the end of each clips that we do? I gotta get editing this impressions. It video. is five. We have so much to do. Wait, yeah. but I just need. We have. To sorry, we man. No. You have to do. You've got a lot of work to do. We all got things to do, Adam. Every single one of us. Hey, what's up? This is Marquez Brownlee. Make sure to like and subscribe.